Welcome back, gamers and grand gamers. This is Grand Amy with another episode of Days Gone. And our last mission was it's a rifle, not a gun. And it hey, ended up leaving around. us in Copeland's camp. Up, and I'm excited because I want to get upgrades on my bike. Engine. Exhaust. I could upgrade my engine. I mean, who are we kidding here? You know what I want. I want color. So that's standard theme paint. Glossy, matte, and metallic. So matte is the only one that gives me paint color options. And I'm hurrying down, down to these ones down here because I love purple. This is good, that's too dark, this is good, this is good, this is good. It's either this one or this one. Let's go with this one. Purchase for 10 cents. Alright, and then I want to go to frame paint. They, none of them look very good. I'm not going to... I guess I'll do this one. Wait, I already... Okay, I already have purple. Decals. Oh, that wolf! That wolf looks good. I'm gonna keep that. Good choice, man. Good choice. Since the wolves are always getting me. Visual headlight. Mine works fine. Wheels. Well, they're locked. Exhaust. I don't know. What's it doing for me? You know what I mean? Front fender. Locked. Locked. Okay. Performance engine. Increases your bike's top speed. Don't care. Reduces the but noise so on your bike. We should do that. Good choice, man. Good choice. Storage. That's locked. Fuel tank. Hold more gas. Ooh, like it. Else? Okay. Frame. Let's get a little extra. Protection for the frame. Nitrous. That's locked. I don't really want it anyway. Tires. Increased traction. 840. No, I'm good. So I'm going to do square for refuel. And then triangle for repair. Okay. Continue. Close. And then I've got to sell my meat at the kitchen. That's all I got. I'm gonna go find where the bounties Sell all. Cool. Looks like you've been busy. That's you it for now. Need oh. that trust, you know. Hey. See. See you later. I didn't 
can't get to see you around so much. What do you got, bro? Damon. Let's say I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm a full, full. Just like at the other camp. Just gonna keep what I have. What? Not enough credits? Alright. See ya. What's up? Hey. Maybe I should get a job for Mark Copeland as well. Where did he go? He was right over here. There he is. Hey. Oh, no How's job going? available. How's it going? Hey. Just looking. So now we're gonna complete our go and complete our make contact mission. Let me get the gate. Thanks, pal. How's it going, booze man? Fine, goddammit. Hey, Deke, we're getting low on supplies. Could use some more meat if you get a chance. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, I guess it's been a while since we did any hunting. I'll see if I can scare up some meat while I'm out. Yeah, I had Cope give me a few pointers, believe it or not. That's not me. Shit, I don't believe it. Thanks, Dean. See you, booze man. Alright, I just gotta find some meat. Oh my. Just when I thought my driving was getting a lot better. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. I grew up in these here woods. I don't like going out at night. Funny how it still works in a world you never would have dreamed of. I built my first tree house to use as a deer blind. Getting high on the target helps your aim and keeps you safe. Back then, I took out my first doe from up top. Whoa, he's driving right now. He's taking all my attention. Sometimes you gotta lay in ambush. Hide where they need to go. Like a watering hole. That's a creeper. Well, you see, I, dr I drug him for a bit. Okay, I gotta stop here. A headless snake can still bite, especially when it ain't really dead. Now, is he's telling me to lay traps? My grandfather would have outlived us all. Oh, I gotta go through this nasty place. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Great, Cop. So you and your granddaddy set traps for him, and you and your old man used to lay down salt licks. That's real sporting. Guess none of that shit matters now. Deacon be crazy sometimes. Animals don't watch the sky. I miss. It's like almost. Almost got to read that whole thing. Okay. Well, we're getting close to our target here. Did I miss it? Ugh. Here we go, cutscene.
infiltrate the Nero landing zone. Okay. This way. Follow O'Brien. So O'Brien is the one in the white. Remember, I can't shoot these guys. I can't do anything to them because they're supposedly their uniforms are impenetrable. I find that hard to believe, but that's that's what the rules are. they catch me, the jig is up. Okay, these guys are really not looking this way, so I don't think that one guy. I'm gonna go real quiet. Stealthy. I'm safe. That guy's going that way. like these tall bushes that I can hide in. This guy's going that way. Keep going, bro. Keep going. That was my chance. Yeah. Cutscene. Well, look at it this way, you poor son of a bitch. At least you weren't torn apart by freaks. If you lived a few more weeks, you might have become one yourself. Now, whether that meant something. Stay back. I just want to talk. Uh, Nero Protocol 2-7 states clearly that, that if conducting operations in quarantine zones, that if I encounter any civilians or some... Civilians! That I'm forbidden from making contact. Really? See, that sounded to me like making contact. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, it did. You're alive. Yes. I am. How? How are you alive? What? I, I, I don't understand. Okay. You were there that night. Farewell. The next night, with Nero Protocol 2 7 were states. Burning. Everyone was dead. Two they were slaughtered. Seven. Torn limb Nero for goddamn limb. Protocol All right, listen up. We're going to do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way, we have a little chat. You give me the information that I need, and then you go back to digging your way through freaker shit or whatever the hell else you're doing out here. The hard way. Open that little spacesuit, and then we see what your friends out there have to say about you breathing in all this contaminated air. Mm -hmm. so what's it gonna be, O'Brien? Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, he's wearing a fanny pack. I love I a fanny pack. The rooftop of the old brewery. I put a woman on Hands-free living. Yes. I remember, a, a knife wound. She, she was cut pretty bad. I went to the refugee camp that you said you were taking her to. Everyone was dead, so I'm going to ask you again. How did you survive? We weren't there. We were diverted south to another camp. Like you said, the camp in Belknap was overrun, so they moved us south to a camp outside of Silver Lake. Were there survivors? You mean now? I don't know. I, 
I was transferred to the research unit. Did she survive? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, 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 I can find out. I, I can check. You have one of our radios. Damn straight, I do. I, I can't promise anything, but I'll, I'll check. Uh huh. And I'm gonna go with you. No, you, you can't. Please, you don't. Hey, you don't understand. I'll fucking shoot you. Not before I shoot you. Okay, look. If you're gonna fucking kill me, do it. Okay? I did my job. Did the woman, your wife? I put her on oxygen. I gave her an IV. I kept her alive. I got in a lot of trouble for that. She was septic. She wasn't gonna make it, but I got out of the mass unit. I saved her goddamn life. Oh, Brian. Stepping up. O'Brien, report. I have to go. Please, uh, you have to get out of here. You don't know these men. You don't know Brian, what they're capable of. If I don't hear from you, I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to track you down. And I'm going to do a lot worse than snap off an antenna. Hmm. I'm sorry about your wife. But you're not the only one who lost someone that night. Biatch. Oh, Brian. I have more respect for him now. Mission complete. Making contact. I remember. That's the storyline that's updated. We're getting low on meat. That's our next job for our next video. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining along on this crazy adventurous ride. Please like, please subscribe, and we'll see you on the next leg of the journey.